Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back to finish our turkey. And I've been struggling with these little turkey feet, so I Googled it, which I love Google. But look, they're like little three toe. They have three toes. So I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to do it in white. So let's zoom in. And I mean, I think he's a little out of proportion, so he's got a leg, a little turkey leg that comes down. But guess what? I'm not, um, I'm going to do him yellow, but, um, so he has a toe, a toe, and a toe. And this one has a toe, a toe, and a toe. And that's it. That's what he looks like. He's got weird little toes. If I make him a little longer, it'll, it'll look cuter. That looks better. I like the shape of that. So try and keep it a little... I don't know. I'm getting a little out of hand. But guess what? I'm going to put um, leaves along the bottom too. So I think my brush is splaying. You know what that means? Like when the bristles... That looks cuter though. I think because he is whimsical, I like that it's like he has fat feet. Oh, I like that better. The bigger they get, the better I like it. <laughs> Alright, so I think the white is just a nice base because I'm, when I put the yellow on, it'll show up better. Alright, so I'm going to do with the eyes. This is probably, I'm going to get a little bit of a thicker brush. This is like a number three. Number two or three round. Oh, it's a one. Huh. Alright, but that was helpful because, man, I kept doing the feet and I was just like, ugh. Why? Why do you need feet? Alright. So let's do these eyes. I'm just going to do like round eyes. Like at each side of his. You can make them close together. It completely changes the character, right? So if you have, I think I'm going to give him lids. So I just want to let that dry. He needs a waddle, or I don't know what that's called. I think it's called a waddle. But I think I'm going to make it go down this side. I think it goes like from here, like this. I don't really know what shape it is. But this will be red. And it looks too fat. I don't like that waddle. So I guess, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to Google it. Of course I'm going to Google it. That's my favorite thing about Google. You never have to not know anything anymore because you can just Google it. Alright, let's see. So we're going to go with turkey. I don't know if it's called a waddle. Waddle. Or, I, I really don't know. Let's see, images. So, ooh, hideous. It's really just like a piece of skin. It doesn't really have any shape. It's just like this hangy down thing. Look, this actually goes right from the top of his head. So it just goes from his brow. That's a chicken. Turkeys are not the best looking little creatures, are they? <laughs> Look, they have like a bunch of neck stuff too. Oh, he's got a spike. All right, it looks like it kind of hangs just straight on top of his beak. And roosters have more of that like fancy looking thing. Turkeys are just a little more. So I think we can just do whatever we want with our turkey. It kind of hangs down. So I'm going to make it, let's see. I definitely want to put something. I don't know. I think I might just leave them. But it, you're, you're used to seeing that little red thing, right? So maybe how about... This way.
Why am I making it like some like ball at the bottom? I don't think it needs to have a ball. I don't know. I don't like it. All right. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I'm going to put a second coat on his eyes. And I'm going to get some red and orange. See, I wonder if I should just do it with white because um, the red will show up so much brighter. I'm going to do a little comma stroke. What about on his wings? His wings look kind of like everything's blending in, so I think I want to highlight the wings. I'm going to use the like lightest, the trail tan, and I'm going to highlight a little bit on the wing. And this is all going to be done using floats, and floats are the way that I like to highlight and shade. So you're going to take, I, I like an angle brush, and you corner load your angle brush and you blend the paint into the bristles so that you get um, a grady gradient. It goes from dark to light to water. So let's put a little here on his shoulder. I think that'll help him. That, that kinda, I don't know if it should be shaded on the inside. See, cause there is a, there is a kind of a formula to it. If you're if you're actually shading and highlighting, there should be a light source, right? So your shading would be in the shadows, obviously, right? And your highlights would be where the sun is hitting. Oops, I just picked up. Did you see how I picked up the float? All right, you probably did. That's why I love doing this with mixed media because, um, you know what we'll do? I'm gonna try and add red. You know what I'm gonna add? This, um, this Hot Shots Fiery Red is a great highlight um, color. And you know what, I'll do a little red first. Let's just put red, or maybe even white. I think the Hot Shots will show up much better. So I'm gonna do this right here. You know what, he needs some cheeks too. How about some belly? I don't know, I'm gonna put red there. I kinda wanna put some red places. I don't know why. Cause that's gonna be red. Look, I just stuck my hand in right here. See, this is still wet, like where I had thicker paint. And I stuck my hand in it. Um. But yeah, I like that. I think I might just put this on the wings too. And we'll see if that Hot Shots looks good. I think it's going to do it. Oh wow, I had so much paint on my brush. Too much paint. So Tracy Moreau came out with her um, I almost said force for good. That's, uh, or yeah, meow. Her, her, um, random act of kindness for this year. And it is, um, there's three different patterns and I haven't downloaded them yet. Um, they're, they're okay. I mean, they're not as Christmassy as I think last year's were. And maybe that was her plan. Let's go up higher gonna do two um so we'll be doing some painting uh, 
One of them is a snowflake. I think it's like a polar bear. And he, but it, and she got it at Hobby Lobby. The piece. It's like a, on a wooden snowflake. And then the other one is, there's a, um, a gingerbread on, it's like the little wooden tag, and I have a pack of those tags. Uh, so let me take the hot shots now and I'll show you. And put some yellow out too to do his feet. The Hot Shots is kind of like a fluorescent color, <coughs> but it's a great highlight. It's fun. And I'm going to put out some red. This is just called True Red by Americana. And some orange. I'm pretty sure. See, I have the Hot Shots. This is called Torrid Orange, actually. But I think I'm going to just use regular orange for, which it should be here, and I don't see it. Oh, it's right in front of me. Sorry about that. This is called Spiced Pumpkin. Alright, so let's do his little feet with yellow. See, because it's... um. The white is, um, I did an undercoating of white. You can see this so much better. It won't need um, as many coats. And I'll add some details with black. And maybe we'll shade it too. But that looks better, right? He needed some feet. I'm probably going to just cover them up because I, I cut out a bunch of leaves again using my... I guess this is like an oak leaf. It doesn't say. Maple? Oak? One of them. Uh, Alright. Let's give them some eyes too. What color eyes? I guess brown. Right? Brown eyes would be good. Let's use... I like this brown. Oopsie. Could have green eyes because we have the green grass. So which way should we make them looking? I was going to give them lids. I got to put the lids on first. Alright, he's getting green eyes. I wanted to give them, let's, I'll show you what the hot shots looks like. All right, let's go back. Oop, that's regular red. And this is very transparent, so that's why I wanted to do the undercoating. It's a little too pink. I don't, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I'll do it on his cheeks. But I don't like it as much. I'm going to take it off. You know what? It's really good for um, Christmas stuff. Like when you're doing Santa's suit. To put a little hit of that on there is good. But I'll just do it with regular red. That was just too... I could probably do it on his cheeks. Um, here. This is what I wanted to do. Red. I guess I'll go this way. See if you do an undercoating. It just helps it be one coat. You don't have to go back. And what I love, because this is mixed media, and it's not a decorative painting piece, I am not being perfect at all, and it's okay. And you still get a cute, pretty result. Like, it's just okay. So that's why I love doing mixed media. 
because I'm actually more of a good enough, believe it or not. I mean, I, I want it to look a certain way, don't get me wrong, but um, I like being quick. I don't want to struggle and stress. This is for fun, you know? Oh, I like the green eyes. They look pretty. Um, what about, oh, orange. And this is a called torrid orange. It's a little bit more of a brown orange, but that's okay. I think it'll look pretty. So I'm doing the same thing, just a, like a stroke. I'm just loading my brush. Start up on the tip, push down, and pick up so that you get that like thin, thick, thin. And just play. Just let the brush do whatever it's going to do. You know, don't worry about it. I mean, you can always take it off. If you really, really hate it, take it off. I don't, you know, I'm not going to be happy if I hate it, you know. Um, but I think you should give yourself a chance to just play and let it be you, you know, and that was the thing too about decorative painting. Um, people would get really upset if their piece didn't look like the teachers and it's never going to look like the teachers because you're not the teacher. <laughs> I mean, mine... I was a pretty good painter, so I could get it pretty close, but still, it's not about that. And I think back then, we didn't stress that enough, that you needed it to be yours. And that that's the, and just have fun. Don't dwell on, you know, um, and be upset that you can't get it to be like that you know you should just enjoy every bit of the process so I guess I'm saying that enough now huh you guys get it all right so let's try and do this red here I like that much better than the the um, hot shots I don't know that his belly would be red at all, but I'm just pulling the colors down that I used up top. I gotta do his cheeks, right? What am I waiting for? His little cheekies. And I think they would be pointed kind of up like this. No, I'm gonna do them just on the side of his face. Just on the side, that's a lot of white. I'm such a heavy hand, you guys. It's just bad. So let's let that dry. I'll do a little highlight on the nose with white. And, I mean, you could highlight the hat. I have red in my brush so that white was turning. What else? I want to shade the... um. You know what's going to be cool if I shade each feather? And then the final thing I did was I ended up going and stamping a bunch of these guys again on, and I just had this, this is my composition book that I use a lot when I'm jelly printing, when I'm doing like a lot of jelly prints. And this is where I rub my, I clean my briar. So I just went through and found some orange, red, yellow pages. That's a pretty one. I use metallics a lot, so I could have gotten a really pretty one there. Um, and then I just cut out a bunch. I also, I wanted to share, I have, um, I get the um, newsletter from Zentangle. And this was, um, I'm sorry, Zenspirations. Joanne Fink had, this is a free download. So I printed out a couple of them. And then I actually gessoed over top of it with clear gesso because it's just printer paper and I wanted it to be a little stiffer. And then I just painted them kind of randomly. Um, but they're really big. And I just thought they were a little too big for this piece. I was going to use them. But then I just went back to my good old dollar stamp. And those jelly prints, like I said, but these little acorns, there's little acorns on the um, Zen, Zenspirations one. 
So I'll probably glue a couple of them on there at the end. And we have to do our um, words. So I'll finish up um, all of my highlight and shade. Look, I want to do a little black pupil. Um, I mean, and then he could have like a uh, little feather marks. Like, how would I do that? I just got it in the orange. Kind of like over here, I think. I don't know. It's your turkey. Make him as fancy as you want. He could have little marks on his belly. Um, and I'm going to do, well let me put his cheeks on and his little eyeballs. nostrils. They're a little dark. Um, and it, I did not give him a waddle, did I? Or whatever it's called. Um, so I'm going to shade here too with uh, I think the uh, candy bar is what I ended up using right last night when I was tired. I was tired. Like I, ca I came in and out doing the piece yesterday um, and by the end, it was late. It was, well, it was after dinner. And I just needed to go sit in my comfy chair. And um, so I did. <laughs> and plus, my videos are so long. You guys need a break, too. So I'm going to go up here like that. OMG. Like, this is the thing. I'm just doing this off the top of my head type thing. So, I mean, if I really thought about it and planned it out or did one first and then did the tutorial, it'd probably be a bit more organized, a bit faster. Oops. Wait. But, I, that, be, that being said, sometimes there you guys get to see um, in real time if I mess up or if I don't like something like when I didn't like the feet, you know? Like, here's black green. But, like, then there's so much that you would do that I would do kind of in order, you know? Like, all my shading in one spot would be done, you know? So, this way it is a little bit more um, kind of discombobulated all over the place. But, like I said, I mean, you get to see the real deal. It's, you know, how it goes. This is it. I just kind of figure it out as I go and I like it and sometimes there's little happy accidents all right I think I'm going to do a little more shading on my feathers and then um, I do I want to adhere these before I stencil the words I'm going to put a couple on the bottom and a couple peeking out from the sides acorns and my words because it's something that's making me want to do my words the very last thing and then adhere these on top of the words but I think I'm going to put the leaves first and then do the words so I'm going to come back with my leaves adhered and then I'm going to stencil my words and then we'll be done all right I'll be back all right, we're in the home stretch, and he's looking so cute. I changed something. I painted over the wings. I just thought they had way too much red on them, and I darkened the shading in the belly. I didn't want as much red there, and just I ended up giving him a waddle. So I think he's looking super cute. I glued on all the um, leaves. I think I'll do a little bit of shading around and under the leaves as well, but I want to highlight, this is what I wanted to change about it, because the wings 
would be getting light from this side. So I'm going to use a little bit of the trail tan, so that's the lightest color of browns, like it's this color. And just, I don't even think I have any up there, I gotta get some. Um, just put a little on his shoulder. So I took all the red off there, and um, I just think it looks better. So I went back and I tweaked a few things and made sure it looked proportionate. I shaded down the left side of all these feathers and down the right side of these three feathers, kind of going toward to separate them out a little bit. Um, and I just deepened the shading under the hat and in the neck to kind of make the neck pop out a little bit more. So I'm just going to take some of this trail tan now and gently put a little on his shoulder. Just right on the shoulder and maybe, I mean, I think it's good, I see it because like I could get carried away, like I said, but um, I think that's all he needs is a little highlight up at the shoulder because like right in here, see you could add little strokes of, let's do the chocolate cherry. Like just little, I can't even, my chocolate cherry is drying up too. It really doesn't need it, but just to add any type of detail, it, you know, it all, and if it's fun, that's really what matters. If it's fun, do it, you know. So that kind of, I think I like that better, purport, like, and then I would actually, I'm going to get a little more chocolate, or it's actually candy bar. I'll just go around the outside of the wing a little and clean that up because when I base coated it, I went off the edge a little. So right here, I'll show you. And then that'll be done. So right here, just clean this up. I like that it just cleans it up so then we're gonna come in right here because I ended up I just stamped on top of it after I pa painted it brown I wanted it to look like it was um, jelly printed so see that's much better the way it was just too red here it just got cr out of control red um, but, but I'm happy now. And I ended up putting the um, hot shots on his cheeks. And actually I could put a little teensy bit of hot shots on top of the red. So I painted this red, but I'm just going to put it right here. And you could even use, this is what this is great for, to highlight. So like if you go like this. Highlight the top of the red. It's it's very subtle, but it really Maxine Thomas. This is her go-to highlighting color for like when she does her Santas and all her Christmas stuff. So it just looks so pretty. All right, he's done. I could just take a little bit of my palette paper is really getting filled up here. Some of this black green. And just go under and around the leaves a little bit. But you know what? It's fine. We don't need to. I'm getting carried away, right? And the same thing like with the Payne's Gray. Is this Payne's Gray or black? I don't think I put Payne's Gray out. I'm just going to go under and around those a tiny bit. I, I just, you know, see this is what I'm talking about when I say I'm a good enough, but then there's certain things that I just, I really insist on doing, you know, it's kind of interesting.
my brush is really splitting. And I was going to go across the top, but I think I like it like that. I'm stopping. All right, all the painting is done. Let me get my stencil. Um, I really like these big words. They're not thankful words. They're not Thanksgiving words. Um, they're more just aspirational um, and positive, positivity. Let's see, what else did I have? Peace, joy, hope. I kind of like those. Now, I'm debating if I want to try and do this with embossing ink. Hmm. I think I want to use... I think I want to use a paste. I'm going to use... Um, I have to find it, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to use modeling paste, and I never use this stuff, guys, so I really hope I don't mess this up. I'm going to try it. I mean, it's not even that white. I want it to be white. Eh, whatever. I'm going to use it. It's like gray. I don't think I should use modeling paste. I'm going to use, what do I have in here? matte soft gel. Let's see what color this is. Ugh. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to use crackle paste. I have crackle paste right here. Crackle paste. It's um, Decorwort Media crackle paste. And it is white. And I'm happy about that. I did end up going around and outlining everything. Uh... I'll show you. I'll show you up close. And I think it looks so cute. My lines are not perfect. Some are over and some are... Look at his feet. His feet really look better when I outlined them though. And that's it. I went around the little stripes that I did, but I didn't go around the leaves or the acorns. Alright, so that's what he looks like. I love him. I think he turned out so sweet. Alright, let's do... Oh man, this is really making me nervous. I think I'm just going to stencil it. No, I'm not. I'm just going to go for it. I can't be nervous, even though I love him. I'm going to put Be Happy Uh, right here. I'm, I'm going to put be happy right here and just hope for the best. I don't know. I don't do this a lot, so that's why I'm nervous. I don't know. I don't want to use too much, too. I just want to make it kind of like... I'm going to put it up here. And then I'll put imagine, maybe. It's nice and white. I like that. I like to be happy. I'm going to put imagine down. No, not. I'm going to put hope. I like hope. And the background's a little bumpy, obviously, because we um, collaged. But that looks good. I'm going to just take pick that up. makes me happy. Look how cute. Let's put, um, 
I really like Inspire. Now I don't want to put it where I don't want to mess it up. I think I want to put like Sing. I like Sing. Let's put it. I could get believe and inspire. See there, it's because that stuff's there. I could get inspire. What else? I think I'm going to put inspire here, but see, I really don't want to. Okay. Laugh. I want laugh. All right, so you get it. And I think it's going to be good. I'm excited. Oh, I can't do laugh because the A is messed up. I think I might be able to. I'll put create. Why can't I pick a word? <laughs> Alright, that's it. I'm going to put a couple more, but I'll let you guys go. I'm very happy. I think that looks so cool. All right, I'll be back when I'm done. All right, you guys, I love it. It's, I probably could have just went with just be happy or, you know, but I love it. That was so fun. I've not done that a lot at all. And I mean, it's just so crazy how geeked out I get when I do something new. I just get so excited, but that was exactly what I wanted it to do. Just be those bright white words. I'm excited. So thank you all so much for watching and make yourself a turkey. It's pretty fun. Thanks for watching.